In this video, I try and show you how to build a fence that won't blow over in the wind. Hey, I'm Richard at Fixmate Create. I've had a question in. How do I build a fence that won't get blown over in the wind? Normally when I build a fence, I've got three ways of doing it. One is with postcrete, next is with post holders, and then the third, which adds a bit of reinforcement, we'll get to towards the end of the video. The first way I like to fix a fence post in is with postcrete. It's really easy to use and it only takes about 10 minutes to set off. I'm not gonna make a video about that, but you can see here, this is the video by Blue Circle, the guys that make this stuff and they show you how to do it. The only thing I would say is if you're doing it by yourself, then get a couple of wooden stakes that you can use to secure your post to. So the post is held nice and vertical. And then fill the hole that you've got about a third full with water and then pour the bag of post cream on top and stomp it down and you'll be good to go. The second way I like to fix the post down is post holders and thunderbolt screws. So you've got to drill the holes for the thunderbolt screws and you do one in each corner and the thunderbolt screws are about 80 mils long and you just screw them straight into the concrete blocks. Tighten them up with a wrench. And that holds the post. And then the bases are secured like that and then you can bring in your 100 mil posts, put them into the holders and then set the level nice and vertical each way, hold that with your hand, drill through for the coach bolts that you're going to put through each hole. And you want to try and get all the way through and out the other side whilst keeping the post vertical. And then just knock through a coach bolt, check the vertical and before I've tightened it all up, drill through the other one and then stick on a washer and a nut and tighten them, tighten them up. You can also tighten up the corner fasteners on some of these makes and post holders. But you just check the vertical and then you're happy. And then to attach the panel to the post, post on the left is held with a post holder, post on the right is dug in with postcrete. You've got these little clips that you screw in to the panel first and then you screw them into the post. It just makes the job really easy. You check the level, check the panels nice and horizontal and then screw the post into place and that's the panel done. I'm using 60mm screws to hold the panels in place. All these panels are 1800 wide and so the three on the left there are held with post holders with thunderbolts and the one on the right there has post created post in. Oh hey guys, uh, well if you like the video I'd love to hear your comments and thoughts so uh, if you want to write them down below, maybe put a big thumbs up, that would be great. And uh, if you've got any questions about what I'm doing, I might be able to answer them in my next video. Alright, uh, should we carry on? Cool. So what we found is that our site is really prone to wind and so those Thunderbolt screws don't hold the posts strongly enough because they're only attached to one block they only go into one block with because they're 80 mil so here I put I've cut some lengths of threaded bar and putting washers and nuts on the top and then drilling out the holes that I've already dr drilled to be a little bigger so they can then use a chemfix product and this you just screw on the uh, nozzle there and put it in a, a sturdy uh, gun and then 
as you squeeze it out, it mixes together into a, a bonding agent. And it's very strong. It goes off really quick. So you've got to move quickly. You've got to get the threaded bar into the holes, knock them down, and then tight. I just used one Thunderbolt screw here in each one in order to keep the posts in place. So fill the holes as best I can all the way down and then put the post holder on, put one of the th Thunderbolt screws in and then knock the threaded bar down and that will really help reinforce. That goes down through three blocks and gives you a lot more weight on the bottom of your post to prevent the wind shear. And here you go, here's those little clips that I showed you on the ends of the panels. And that's it. One fence put up with postcrete, post holders and center bolts and threaded bars. Hey, if you've enjoyed this video, then please don't forget to like. It took a little bit of time and effort, so I do appreciate your help and support. And if you can hit that subscription button and ding the bell, then you'll be notified of my next video. I've got another video out that you might like. If you like this one, it's how to build a garden office. There should be a link here somewhere. Thanks for watching and I'll see you the next time.